Rough in wiring for four single pole switches in a four gang switch junction box. Install the four gang switch junction box and install the cables. If you run multiple cables along the post, support the cables with cable stackers. Insert the cables into the cable clamps. The cable should be between 12 and 18 inches long when it enters the junction box. Describe the cables. Description of wires inside the junction box. Power, feeder, cable. K 
Cables for four different light outlets, for example, in the bathroom there may be an outlet for general lighting, shower lighting, exhaust fan and vanity light. Remove the cable's sheath. The cable sheath, jacket, should protrude beyond the entrance to the housing, junction box, not less than one quarter inch. Special green wire nut for splicing ground, bear only, wires. Separate the ground wires, bear, from the others and push the ground wires towards the back of the junction box. Wrap one of the longest ground, bare, wires around the others. Hold with your fist. This gives you a minimum length of 6 inches from the box entrance, required, and cut the remaining wires at the front of your fist, leaving the longest one. Pull the long wire through the hole in the green wire nut, twist it clockwise and insert the spliced wires into the junction box, leaving the pigtail wire outside the junction box. All types of wire nuts can be used to connect all conductors, including ground conductors, in sizes depending on the number of conductors to be joined together. To splice the ground wires with standard wire nuts, separate the ground wires from the others, push towards the back of the junction box, twist all the ground wires together. Hold with your fist. This gives a minimum length of 6 inches from the junction box entry 
required, and cut the wires at the front of your fist. Take four pieces, one piece for each switch of the ground wires for the pigtails and use pliers and appropriately sized wire nuts to connect them together with the ground wires from the junction box. Separate the neutral, white, wires from the black ones, push them towards the back of the junction box. Hold down with your fist, this gives you a minimum length of 6 inches from the junction box entrance, required, and cut the wires in front of your fist. Strip the ends of the wires about 1 half inch. Using pliers and wire nut splice neutral, white, wires and insert the spliced wires into the junction box. Separate the hot, black, wire from the power source cable and cut the wire to the desired length, minimum 6 inches. Take 4 pieces of black wire for the pigtail. Strip one end of each pigtail wire and the junction box hot wire about 1 half inch. Using pliers and wire nut splice hot, black, wire from the junction box with pigtails. Set up one ground wire pigtail and one hot wire pigtail with one wire to the light outlet. Cut the wires to the desired length, minimum 6 inches, required, and insert into the junction box in the order of your choice.
Repeat the same with the other pigtails and wires from the cables to the light outlets. For safety, the black wires can be secured with wire nuts. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.